From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, everybody. I'm student meteorologist Gavin Sandell with your Thursday morning forecast. Quite the dreary look outside of the Arboretum. It's been very foggy this morning, especially in the last hour. The Arboretum right now checking in at 52 degrees, and any meteorologist would know with a foggy day like today, 52 degrees is the temperature. Dew point would be exactly the same. Those are the ingredients making up that zero mile visibility. Calm winds though, nothing much to speak of in the wind department. That fog will burn off though this morning and taking a look at our weather headlines, we're gonna, we're gonna see some nice above average temperatures this week as temperatures will remain about five to 10 degrees above average um, in this time in September. We're gonna remain dry though. A high pressure is just cooped up in our area and so we're not going to really see rain for the next week or so, but there is some tropical trouble I do want to touch on during this forecast. Francine, who just made landfall yesterday in Louisiana, is tracking its way. The interesting thing is these two things counteract each other, so I'm going to explain why we're going to remain dry even though Francine is on our doorstep. Look at the, at the current conditions right now. 52 in State College, as I mentioned. We're seeing mainly mid to upper 50s, 62 in Erie, and 64 in Philly, though. Those are the outliers on a mainly calm day today. And speaking of calm, the radar satellite is showing absolutely nothing in Pennsylvania. Maybe some high clouds north in the northwest corner. But the two things that I really want to focus our eyes on is right underneath our banner, some convective storms uh, going on right now in the northwest sector of our country mainly uh, Montana. They had a slight risk of storms yesterday into today. And then this is Francine, this big blob of green down here. She made landfall into Louisiana and now she's tracking northwest into Mississippi. In fact, she just crossed the state line and she'll keep going up and turn into a depression uh, as we go into Friday. And this stuff is the rain that's north of the hurricane. And I'm going to explain why, even though storms usually track over to the east, why we're not going to see rain. And it's because of this big blue H right here that's just stored right over the Atlantic, which is why we're having our nice conditions. As we go back in time or go forward in time, the high pressure is just going to stay exactly where it is. It's blocking the movement of the low pressure, which means the low pressure really is just going to disintegrate over Kentucky, Tennessee, that region. And what does this mean in terms of precipitation as it moves up north? It's really just going to stagnate. They'll have a lot of precipitation down here. But over in Pennsylvania, it'll be a nice clear day, maybe some uh, clouds into the southwest corner of the state. But other than that, a very nice day. And especially for the next couple of days after that, Saturday into Sunday, it looks like a beautiful weekend. Our first real rain chance will be after this period, maybe into Tuesday or Wednesday next week. The sunshine continues today. 79 degrees is your high with wall to wall sunshine, just five miles an hour winds. It looks like a very nice day, even though it is just a touch above average. No fog is in the forecast tonight. 52 degrees is your forecast with mostly clear conditions and calm winds. And for tomorrow, I'll put it on paper this time. Wall to, one so wall, to wall sunshine, 78 degrees is your high temperature, just like today. So it's looking like a great week. And going into the seven day forecast, it's looking like much the same. Thursday and Friday will have upper 70s. Saturday will finally eclipse 80 here in State College, but as we go into the rest of the weekend, the main theme is those sunny skies. Going into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday though, that's when we'll start to see some clouds and maybe a chance of rain going into the midweek. From the Campus Weather Service, I'm Gavin Sandell. Enjoy the rest of your day.